S1 EP4, Jordan breaks the fourth wall at school slash grounded. Enjoy! Alright Jordan, it's time for you to go to school. I know but hold on a second. Why are we talking in Rod and Karen voices? It's because that story master obtained Plotagon from somewhere. He obtained Plotagon where all the clothings, scenes, and so on are unlocked except for the voices. But mom, I find it annoying that we have to stick to what's free in terms of the voices. Can't Story Master just make a payment from it or something? I don't see how that's my problem. Enough of that and let's just stop breaking the fourth wall and let's continue where we left off. Jordan, you will be going to school. And you better not misbehave like always. And if you do, then you will be grounded, as always. Got it? Fine, I will. Good. When Jordan got to school. Okay class, today we will be learning about the Pythagoras theorem, and we will then also learn some geography. By the end of this lesson of Pythagoras theorem, you are expected to do a few math problems based on what you studied in the past, as well as a small revision on questions taken from the take-home quizzes and or the past tests you have taken. Oh come on everyone, why are we stuck with the Rod and Karen voices? Can't Story Master just make a payment from it or something? And can't just Story Master use the native voices? I don't see how that's just my problem. Story Master obtained Plotagon from somewhere, where scenes and more clothings, and so on except for the voices are unlocked. Story Master didn't make a payment for it for some reason, and he also didn't want to use the native voices, because the native voices sound like robots rather than humans, so you just have to deal with it. And if you continue to break the fourth wall because of this, in addition to misbehaving about it, you will be getting detentions and suspensions. So please deal with it, humbly and without having to complain further about it. Okay class, sorry about the disturbance, we will continue our lesson. Five minutes later. A right triangle has one leg measuring five units and the hypotenuse measuring thirteen units. What is the length of the other leg? Miss Cloud. I find it annoying, and just not normal, having two voices. Jordan, shut your mouth up, and please stop complaining. As I was saying, a right triangle has one leg measuring five units and the hypotenuse measuring thirteen units. What is the length of the other leg? What is it, Scott? Let's denote the length of the other leg as B. According to the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where and b are the lengths of the legs and c is the length of the hypotenuse. Substituting the given values, we have 5 squared plus b squared equals 15 squared. Solving for b, we get b squared equals 13 squared minus 5 squared equals 169 minus 25 equals 144. Taking the square root of both sides, we find that b equals the square root of 144 equals 12. So, the length of the other leg is 12 units. Correct, Scott. A few minutes later. Good job, Jessica. Now to the other question. A right triangle has legs measuring 8 units and 15 units. What is the length of the hypotenuse? Arg. Gra. Ugh. Come on, I hate this already. Jordan, shut your mouth up and please stop raging. No, I won't stop, you stupid teacher. That's it Jordan, you just got yourself a referral, which means you are likely getting an hour of after school detention. Ugh come on teacher, it's already bad enough we are stuck with the Rod and Karen voices because of Story Master, now I'm getting a one hour after school detention over a referral? This is ridiculous. Jordan, I'm giving you a stern warning that if you continue to act like this, you will be getting detentions and suspensions, so please stop. You know what teacher, I've had enough of you. It's time to teach everyone a lesson. Jordan, you better stop. No, I won't stop. Now, time to break down this entire school already. Oh no you don't. No!
Oh, my goodness. Jordan, you stupid imbecile, look what have you done. You broke down the entire class and you almost injured one of the people inside this class, as well as causing some damage to the door, and you almost caused damage to the school locker, in addition to causing injury to the students who is outside this class. That's it, you just got another referral. You also earned yourself some worst punishments. That's it. Go to the vice principal's office right now. Jordan, what did you do this time? Well, I broke the fourth wall in school several times before, and I went crazy that I even damaged the entire class by almost damaging the seats. I made the classmates injured. I even damaged the door, and I even injured one of the students outside of my class, and I even almost caused damage to the school locker. Jordan, you, stupid, imbecile. I can't believe that you do something like this. What were you thinking in the first place? How dare you break the fourth wall, and then become a berserk about it, and now you damaged the entire class, injured classmates in your class damage the door and almost damaging the school locker, and injure the students outside your class. That's it, we're having a parent, student, teacher, principal, and vice principal conference. In the meantime, you can sit in the school corridor, and we'll notify you when the conference is beginning. Later on, it was time for the conference. So, what did our son do this time? It all started when Jordan broke the fourth wall several times about the missing voices. Then, he became angry about it, that he damaged the entire classroom, injured the classmates inside the class, damaged the door and almost damaged the school locker, and then he injured the students outside the class. He injured the classmates and the students in the nearby school corridor so bad he flipped the tables and also, the fact that he broke the fourth wall in school was already bad enough. The damages Jordan made will result in him paying for it. Jordan, you imbecile, how dare you break the fourth wall at school, break down the entire class, injure the classmates, and then damage the door and almost damaging the school locker in a nearby school corridor, as well as damaging the students outside the class. But mom, the reason I did this was because of the missing voices, the voices that are even more than those two. I was angry about it because of this, and I was a complete berserk about it, hence that's why the classmates, students, the door, the entire classroom, and the school locker in shambles. The school locker is almost in shambles actually. Jordan, that is no excuse for what you did. What you did today is far very serious, severe and dangerous, and doesn't come even close to what you did in the past. Classmates could have been in shambles and that was the reason. Pathetic excuse of a student. And what an imbecile. Jordan, you have violated the school rules against damaging something, and also against injuring your classmates. You also violated Storymaster's content policy against breaking the fourth wall, and so you will serve the punishments. I can confirm that, because he also broke the fourth wall before he went to school. Now let's talk about the consequences. Miss Clementine can tell you about it. Yes, we're all already aware that Jordan got two referrals. Yes. He got two referrals, which means two hours of after-school detention, and because he injured the classmates and the students outside the class, he will get five days of in-school suspension, plus two lunch detentions, oh, and for damaging the entire classroom, he will pay as little as $1,500 to replace or repair it, because it's all your fault. Yes. Miss Clementine, those sound like fair punishments. Also, Jordan, you are likely going to have your video games taken away from you for the remainder of your grounding, and I will be placing them in my room during your grounding. As a matter of fact, Jordan, because you broke the fourth wall several times, before and after going to school, you will have to record a video apologizing to Story Master, and I will upload it on your page when we go home just later on. Yes, I think that sounds like a good idea. Anyways, I don't think there is more to discuss about, so you all may leave now, and Jordan, you better not break the fourth wall like this ever again.
in addition to misbehaving, damaging the school or the entire classroom, and injuring your classmates and the students outside the class, and almost damage the school locker again. Otherwise, you will get severe punishments. Got it? Yes, when they got home. Jordan, we've decided that you will be grounded for three weeks and six days. Like we said, later after we go home, you will be recording an apology video to Story Master, and we will be uploading it on your page. But in the meantime, go to your room right now, and think about what you have done. Arg. Grr. Ugh. I have had enough of this. One day, I will get revenge on you guys. Just you guys wait. Cause I have had enough of this. Just you guys wait and y'all will see.